The Chinese government has been working hard to position the yuan as an alternative to the U.S. dollar as a means of settling international payments in the future. Earlier this month, the Chinese government signed a bilateral agreement with Brazil to settle trades using their national currencies and consummated the purchase of liquefied natural gas, long, from a French company using the yuan as a method of payment. De dollarization efforts are being advanced by the Chinese government with the assistance of the Brazilian and French governments. As a replacement for the US dollar, China is positioning its fiat currency, the yuan, as a currency for international settlements. The Chinese government recently achieved two milestones in this sense, inking a bilateral deal with Brazil that will allow the two countries to settle payments with their national currencies and completing the first long liquefied natural gas import trade settled in yuan. Under the Brazil-China agreement, the Chinese yuan and Brazilian real can be used to exchange goods between the two countries. According to the Brazilian Trade and Investment Promotion Agency, this deal will ease transactions between the two countries, reduce costs, and promote even greater bilateral trade and investment. The bilateral trade between China and Brazil reached $150 billion in 2022, with China being Brazil's largest trading partner. Negotiations for the long import were handled by China National Offshore Oil Corporation and France's Total Energy involving the purchase of 65,000 tons. This transaction was conducted on the Shanghai Petroleum and Natural Gas Exchange, which sold long from Arabia. As the Chinese oil company points out, it is committed to innovation when it comes to pricing and settlements, and it is seeking to change that. Yu Jin, the deputy general manager of Nukes, said in a statement, the Chinese CBDC is considered to be a key factor in the growth of the Yuan's usage. The Chinese government has recently made some significant strides in promoting the yuan as a replacement for the dollar in a number of settlements. However, as Russia has committed to using the currency to settle payments with emerging economies and other countries, analysts believe implementing a new set of policies is the only way for the currency to truly be adopted. A professor at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, who specializes in US-China trade conflicts, has proposed that a progressive tax be imposed on cross-border capital flows in order to protect the country from external risks. According to Jian Dong, he explained this in the following manner. While the Chinese yuan usage for global payments is still relatively low, with only 2.19% of total global payments settled in the currency, Jian Dong believes that the introduction of the digital yuan central bank digital currency could give it an edge compared to other currencies, since it will provide a central bank digital currency. During his speech, he stated the following. I believe that China will have the chance to strengthen the yuan's overseas use in the future. If it can innovate the entire system through digital currency and establish a digital international currency system, meanwhile, Putin and Xi Jinping vow to use yuan as Russia and China move to settlements in national currencies. As part of the talks that Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping conducted in Russia, Russia has vowed to move to use the Chinese yuan as a settlement currency with countries in Asia, Africa, and Latham. Putin expressed that using national currencies for international trading a euro should be encouraged further. Russia expresses support for using Chinese yuan in international settlements. President Vladimir Putin of Russia has made statements supporting substituting the U.S. dollar as a settlement currency for settling international payments. As part of the visit that China's President Xi Jinping is conducting to Russia, Putin expressed his positive opinion on the use of the Chinese yuan as a form of payment in bilateral trade, especially with emerging economies. Putin stated, we support the use of Chinese yuan in payments between Russia and countries of Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Currently, two-thirds of the commercial exchanges made between Russia and China are managed using national currencies, and according to Putin, this should be developed further, with a deeper level of integration between the banking and market institutions in both countries. Moving away from the dollar, Russia is part of a global group of countries that are trying to move away from the U.S. dollar as a part of their bilateral and multilateral payments arrangements. 
In August, the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, SWIFT, released data showing that Russia was the third largest market that used yuan for global payments. Also, at that time, the Chinese yuan ranked fifth among the most used currencies for these settlements. However, according to analysts, these figures might climb due to the new global configuration that the current Russia and Ukraine conflict is causing in economic markets. Dong Dengxin, director of the Finance and Securities Institute of Wuhan University, stated, If sanctions on Russia continue, the share will continue to increase in its use. However, others believe that this reliance on the Chinese yuan might be detrimental to Russia in the long term. Carnegie Endowment for International Peace Analyst Alexandra Propopenko wrote, Russia is swapping its dollar dependence for reliance on the yuan. Should relations with China deteriorate, Russia may face reserve losses and payment disruption. Other groups have their own plans to move away from the dollar. BRICS nations, Russia being one of them, are currently working to issue their own reserve currency. In January, Brazil and Argentina also made announcements on the creation of a LATAM common currency to be used for settlement. What do you think about Russia's use of the Chinese Yuan for international settlements? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful and informative. We would love to hear your thoughts. So please leave a comment below and let us know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.